Hi, today's Sunday, August 12th, um, with a little bit of an update. Um, so on Friday, uh, we finally spoke with the ENT um, because we got a call from the radiologist stating that the biopsy, um, the sample was not good enough and um, so the ENT had to put in another order for the radiologist to do another biopsy by the fine needle. Um, we're hoping that it's maybe good news that um, that it's not cancer or lymphoma, but the ENT just said that they all see what they're seeing, meaning the ENT, the ER doctor, and his primary care all see, but they cannot put it in writing until they have a 100% diagnosis from the biopsy. So um, they will most likely, um, if they don't get another uh, good sample, um, they're going to probably go in and do the operation where they cut it, put him under, he has to be under anesthesia, and then they cut it um, like a chunk out and then they'll um, send it off and they'll get a more accurate. I guess the reason why they can't just do this, because this is what everybody's been asking, um, why can't they just do that? Well, right now it's because... Um, I think of insurance reasons they're saying that they want to do the least invasive and they want to show that they've tried ev all followed the procedures the protocol so our insurance will cover the surgery so um, unfortunately it's a waiting game um, the soonest appointment they have for him is August 20th um, so I have to give them a call every day, um, morning and afternoon, to see if there's any cancellations um, to get him in sooner. Otherwise, we have an appointment set up for August 20th, I think at one o'clock. Um, so what I've seen from all these videos from other people going through this is that the waiting is the hardest part because um, you're just, you kind of know the diagnosis is there. So I think they call it like an active diagnosis or an ongoing diagnosis or something, meaning that there's no 100% diagnosis in his charts. It's just results from the CAT scan and the um, ultrasound and his x-rays and then all the visits we've been having. Um, so it's really hard. We've had um, really good positive days and then um, a little bit of, you know, angry, frustrated, just want to move forward, don't know where things are headed for us and we don't have a plan. So I think not having a plan and not exactly knowing um, if it's anywhere else um, other than the net. Uh, is is hard um, to think about and Joe is getting more agitated and irritated he's not he's not doing his normal job he's basically on um, like a modification um, he's normally drives a truck delivers for Costco and obviously driving with his mind wandering and they don't want him pushing and pulling um, because where that tumor is is pressing on his um, neck muscle and causes him to get headaches so other than that there's real no update but I know friends family and other people might be wondering what happened so that's why I'll do another um, video when uh, after his biopsy or after we see the doctor um, so right now it's another waiting game and it's just not fun because it is so so stressful and tiring just you try and live a little normalcy life and it's just always on your mind and you kind of feel like wow is this really happening and yes it is and we just have to push through every day 
and we've been spending a lot of time with loved ones and just um, our kids and trying to just enjoy um, life the best we can right now Um, but friends family um, have been so supportive so sweet checking in and these videos I hope are helping like get to everybody because we pretty much everybody has the same questions like did you hear what's the next step why can't you just request the surgery Um, so hopefully that answers some of your questions if there's some other questions that you want answered just text me um, and I will try and either answer them individually or if it's the same questions I'll just throw up a video real quick Um, like having you guys text us and check in on us has been great Um, but sometimes it's just like we've repeated ourselves all day long so um, we kind of don't answer right away or we just have have to take a break from all the questions because we're still just processing it ourselves um anyway uh thanks for watching and just go love on your loved ones have a good day